Studios. Welcome back to Laughing in the Dark, the podcast where I hang out in haunted places with comedians. I'm your host, Sarah Jones. For this episode, I got to hang out with Chicago comic duo, Caitlin and Jessica Chekarowski. Caitlin Chekarowski is a Chicago comic who performs all over the country. She's participated in the Orlando Indie Comedy Festival, Crom Comedy Festival, and Memphis Comedy Festival. She is currently managed by her dog, Oscar. Jessica is a designer and Chicago comedian, comic writer and illustrator, and author of Help Me, I'm Single. The Chekarowski sisters and I got to visit Graceland Cemetery in Chicago. As always, be sure to check out the Instagram for pictures that go along with this episode. You can find us with the handle at Lit Dark Podcast. Here's the episode. I hope you have fun. So we're sitting in the Graceland Cemetery in Chicago, Illinois. We are surrounded by fireflies. There are fireflies everywhere. It's and rad. And at least one coyote. And at least one coyote that we've seen. And he's getting his friends so that they can maul us and eat us. Mm-hmm. Finally. We're finally ready to get off the this human mortal race fucking is over. plane. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. It's fair. It's fair. We deserve it. So we're sitting in the Grayson Cemetery in Chicago. Uh, long famous as the Cemetery of Architects, this cemetery was founded by real estate investor Thomas B. Bryan in 1860 and owes its design and exceptional natural beauty to two 19th century ha- uh, landscape art- architects. I almost said handscape artists. That's not it. What's that? Landscape architects are who built this place. Great. It's located three blocks away from the Wrigley Field today, but when Brian founded it, the area was little more than sprawling wilderness. This was at least a few years before the uh, before the World World Series World Cup <laughs> happened. For the Cubs one, just yeah, just for I reference. mean, 1860, 1860. <laughs> so at least a hundred years. years. So <laughs> yeah, just the yeah. yeah. Thomas Brian's nephew, Brian Lathrop. <laughs> I'm probably saying his name wrong. It's no, fine. You got it. Name um, was an enthusiastic naturalist and president of the cemetery for a number of years. He hired architects William LeBron, uh, LeBron, LeBaron, William LeBaron Jenny, and Ossian Cole Simmons. Ossian. Is that guy's actual That's not real, real first name? Oss. God get Oss for short. You got him Oss. Yeah, Ossian. Uh, to enhance the grounds of this precious cemetery. Simmons was so attached to the project that he later turned his entire professional career toward landscaping design as a result of working on these grounds. Many notable people from Chicago history are buried here today, including John Kinsey, Chicago's first permanent European settler. I did a hotel on that guy. Oh, really? Look at Kinsey Hotel. So as a a graphic designer. Yeah. Um, he is the, he's known as a backstabber, a double crosser, if you will. Jesus, Jess, I have a lot representing? of facts. I have a lot of facts about him. And you yeah, just I saw that. But like, like a lot of people didn't like him. We, no, we have to go well, find his grave. As well. Yeah, we should look for it. Well, and okay, wait. Him. Fun fact, my, John my sister and my mother once visited the Kinsey Hotel because uh, Jess had designed it. And outside there were very well-dressed, scantily clad women who... My mother had to explain to my baby sister we're probably ladies of the night. That's just a fun fact. Let's keep coming with the story. <laughs> okay, but what do you know about John Kinsey? Oh, uh, that well, he is like one considered one of the founders of Chicago, and um, it's a comeback. he it was like kind of lawless back then. But he was like a uh, fur trader, and like so he would trade like silver and stuff like that with Native Americans that were local. And then uh, they would get you know he'd give them like these silver cross things, and then they'd give them like furs. But then also, I don't remember exactly what happened, but he killed, like, this guy, and then he came back for the War of 1812. I can't remember it all. I just know that 
We named a bar called the Double Cross because that's what they sell. Damn. Yeah, that's that's shady ass. It's like a, a backstabber. Yeah. Double uh, cross. Potentially, maybe. We don't know for sure. But yeah, that's well, yeah, maybe no. I, I found a lot on that too. And yeah. I, I didn't delve into it. But yeah, yeah. That's cool that you knew about oh, that. Oh, he's a backstabber. Um, he's pretty cool. Another person buried here is the American engineer and industrialist George Pullman. Don't know him. Do you? No. No. Okay. No Pullman and Me info. Either. I don't know. Um, American entrepreneur Marshall Field, who's behind the Marshall's department stores. Ladies, 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 born here. Keep shopping. Died here and buried here. Died here, buried here. Died here? That's weird. Wait, he died in the cemetery. Oh, I don't know where he died. He died and buried here, and his corpse is 50% off, ladies. His body is buried here. It's weird to think if he, like, died in the cemetery. Right. Like, right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I've, oh my God. I swear I heard a story about someone's grandma who did die in a, in cemetery. a cemetery. And I made, it was like at a bar, believe it or not, where someone yeah. told me that story. That's nuts. And I was like, well, that, I mean, cuts out the middle, man. Like, you're already yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Like, yeah, like, like, like already there. Did she already, weird. like, get into the coffin, too. And she's like, like, man, she just, she was, was, a, she was just we a follower. Her. She gave into yeah. peer pressure. Yeah. yeah. She was done. I'm joining my friends. I hate you guys. She's like, everyone's here? Okay. So, another person buried here, these two people actually are fucking rad. Scottish American detective and spy, Alan Pinkerton. Oh. Have you heard of the Pinkerton? You will. No. All right. And Kate Warren, America's first female detective. Nice. You guys Pink- I feel like feminism. the Pinkertons, I think, of Deadwood, and I feel like the Pinkertons were the enemy. They were wealthy people who had too much money and they were sticking their noses. I just think of Pinky in the Brain. Oh, that's smart. Okay, yeah. Pinky in the Brain. Continue. I'm sure the Pinkerton people, like their descendants, became very rich. Oh, yeah. That we will, like a rich family. We'll yeah. talk about it. Because you have a Pinky in the yeah, Brain. Pink. Um, and also, Fazler, <laughs> Fazler Khan, the structural, uh, structural engineer of the cursed Hancock building. Do you know that building? And so many more. So John yeah. Hancock, he's in the founders. Uh, n- false. No. Nope. <laughs> um, Fazler Khan, was- <laughs> who was the structural engineer of the Hancock building. Okay. Uh, and the Hancock building itself hmm. was supposed to be cursed. Hmm. He's buried here, that guy. Ah. I need my light, so. John Hancock would not. It's about 9 John Hancock, p.m. Han- John Hancock would listeners. not be caught dead in this cemetery. <laughs> um, the, the landscaping light- is so outdated. It's beautiful. Just kidding. No, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Uh, the sun is going down, so it's starting to get dark. And it's a little after nine. And the coyotes can be smaller. Too. We're sitting, yeah, the coyotes yeah, are the coy- I turn around, the coyotes are right behind me. I'd be like, mm, okay. Ooh. I'd but he's got, like, glasses it. on. Oh. He's like, I want, I like story time, too. I like story time, too. <laughs> well, we've got, like, a little nightcap on. Oh, my on. God. They're so, so cute. Yeah. cute. <laughs> <laughs> so many people buried here have interesting stories to tell. We couldn't possibly highlight all of them, but I wanted to bring in some interesting history of some of the people buried here today. Two fascinating people buried here are Alan Pinkerton and Kate Warren. Alan Pinkerton was born in Glasgow, Scotland, and left school at the age of 10 following his father's death. Though he wasn't a good student, Pinkerton was a voracious reader and was largely self-taught. Like Einstein. Mm. He's like one of those people that they're like, what a shitty student, but he's like really smart. Pinkerton immigrated to the United States in 1842, eventually settling in Dundee Township, Illinois. By 1844, do you know Dundee? I've driven through it. Okay, good deal. I have no familiarity. By 1844, Pinkerton worked for the Chicago abolitionist leaders, and his Dundee home was a stop on the Underground Railroad, offering a safe space for escaped slaves. Okay, good job. Wow. Guy. So, All yeah, right, Pinkerton. Pinkerton's the man. Wow, you really turned it around. Wow, okay, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. Nice I really I changed like, my opinion I'm of him. sure his wow. family ended up HBO, being HBO, you lied like, to me. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, at no. some point, yeah. Yeah, Alan Pinkerton yeah. was the man. Uh, Pinkerton was appointed deputy sheriff of Kane County, Illinois, after helping the Cook County Sheriff apprehend a gang of uh, counterfeiters. It's rumored that this gang may have been what was known as the notorious Banditti of the Prairie, or the name that I prefer, (laughs) Prairie Pirates. Oh, that's fun. Yes. A rowdy group of loose-knit outlaws during the early to mid-19th century. 
By 1849, Pinkerton would be appointed as the very first police detective in Chicago. Later, Alan Pinkerton would partner with Chicago attorney Edward Rucker and formed what came to be known as the Pinkerton National Detective Agency, which still exists, only now it's called Pinkerton Consulting and Investigations. Wow. The insignia of Pinkerton's business was a wide open eye with the caption, We Never Sleep. This logo would later inspire the now widespread term for a detective, a private eye. Whoa! Oh, that's interesting. Fun. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> but they're never sleepy, so their eyes are just. And no, they're probably they never. Well, I mean, by this point, they're probably hallucinating. Yeah. Because yeah. You're yeah. Like, oh, you're seeing all that kinds guy, of shit. What guy? Yeah, yeah, your not. brain can't yeah. <laughs> survive without sleep. Pinkerton's agency solved a series of train robberies during the mid 19th century, which introduced Pinkerton to a man named George McClellan, the chief engineer and vice president of the Illinois Central Railroad, along with their company's lawyer a man you may have heard of named Abraham Lincoln. Jawaha! <laughs> I've heard of him. Uh, uh, penny guy. Uh, he's from Illinois. Mm-hmm. Ever heard of it? Yep. Heard of it? <laughs> Kate Warren was born in New York and became a widow by age 23. God. Now this is the detective woman. Yes, ma'am. About. Yes. Oh, cool. Shortly after she had Get been married. man, girlfriend. Alan Pinkerton himself described her as a commanding person with clear-cut, expressive features, a slender, brown-haired woman, graceful in her movements and self-possessed. Her features, although not what could be called handsome, which at the time was, like, pretty, uh, they were decidedly of an intellectual cast. Her face was honest, which would cause one in distress instinctively <laughs> to select her as a confidant. Why are you laughing? Okay. I just feel like, what is an honest face? You know what I mean? Right. Like, I could probably tell her stuff. Like, she's ugly enough. She probably wouldn't have friends to tell it to. <laughs> <laughs> like, she, she wasn't like good looking. What was she going to tell? She's not talking to yeah, people. Yeah, I feel like it's like yeah. not something you can tell by the look of someone, but it's by the vibe of someone. Agreed. And Agreed. I feel yeah, like I mean, that that's what they're be. trying to but do. you're still, yeah. like, giving it a visual cue. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just don't yeah, talk one about those their looks honest faces. Yeah. They're like, oh, God, yeah, we only know, face. But we only know how to talk about women objectively. <laughs> well, how can we talk about her? I don't know. Well, give her a big nose. That'll mean she's something. <laughs> Jewish. Let's Jewish. Just call her honest. She <laughs> probably not, tells people yeah. how it is. Anyway. Anyway, I'm still team Alan Pinkerton. I think he's fucking awesome. Yeah, I think he's awesome. Um, um, I, I won't say that the, the description of her doesn't reflect upon her. It reflects more. No, no. Her. Agreed. Um... So when the Pinkerton National Detective Agency put an ad in the local newspaper looking for new detectives, Kate Warren found her way into the office for a visit. She surprised Pinkerton when he realized that she wasn't there for clerical work. What? Right What's she going to do with her bosom? Yeah. Right when you guys mm-hmm. said, oh, mm-hmm. like what we talk about all the time is feminism. I was like, you're going to oh, fucking boy. love this story. I love this. Kate, Kate, get it, Kate. You already <laughs> killed her husband. Maybe. <laughs> She didn't kill him, but he no. did, but... In his oh, words, okay. Alan Pinkerton explained that Kate argued eloquently that though at the time it was unheard of to have a female detective, she could be incredibly valuable to them. A bossy-ass bitch. Women, she argued... Seduced the criminal. <laughs> yes, are most useful in worming out secrets in many places, which would be impossible for a male detective. Honestly, no one's ever told me a secret, so I'm going to continue. <laughs> Besides the fact that women would never be suspected to be a detective in the first place, because they can't be, mm. a uh, woman would be yeah. right. A woman would be able to befriend the wives and girlfriends of suspected criminals and gain their confidence. Actually, that's why we think like a grandma would make, make the best spy. Yeah, we have an argument that grandmas would be the best spies. Like everyone's like, an old woman, that's the most useless person alive. What? We don't even <laughs> see her. And then she comes up behind you with a knife. Or she's like, eat my cookies, please. Then you're dead 30 minutes later. Yeah, like you don't suspect an old woman. It's have. like, yeah, yeah, you wouldn't. Yes. Right, you don't suspect the least suspected person. Smart. Besides, when a woman is charming a man, she argued, charming. men can become braggarts, especially when they are encouraged to boast. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Plus, like I need any encouragement. Mm-hmm. She contended, "Women have an eye for detail and are excellent observers." It's true. This, I think, we is uh, sexist on the other side. Yep. I think yep. men can also have an eye for details well, right. and be good observers. <laughs> yeah, they try but very still, hard she makes case. a solid point where she's like, "Look, no one expects a female spy 
We can befriend the mm -hmm. wives and girlfriends. And hey, these guys are hitting on us in bars. And if we're trying to take yep. the information out of them, they'll oh, tell especially, us. Especially, yeah, like oh, if so nobody was a uh, female spy before, right. it's like, well, it's going to be like, you think? so easy. Yeah, right. So easy. Yeah. Exactly. So she was all about it. Smart. Thus, Pinkerton was swayed, and Kate Warren became the first ever female detective. True to her word, Kate Warren proved to be incredibly useful working undercover for the company. She cozied up to the wife of a man who had stolen $50,000 and later got enough information to have him convicted. He returned $30,000 of the loot and spent 10 years behind bars. Wow. Remember, this is $50,000 in, like, Back before right. the 1900s. This is a bajillion dollars. This, yeah. You could... It's Roughly like a bajillion. Stealing also, I've been recently watching Gentleman Jack, so I wonder if Kate was like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, no like she, like they're like, oh, we could, she could cozy up to like wives and mothers or whatever. But it's really like all these like sexually unsatisfied women that were like, sweet, this woman gets it. Um, oh, you're saying maybe she's gay? Yeah, yeah. We, I don't I know. I didn't find. We don't that. know, but um, probably Randy. Check it. <laughs> she even played an important role in foiling a plan. Um, oh, wait, just kidding. I skipped ahead. My bad. Um, but, but, but she once got a suspect to feed her crucial information by posing convincingly as a fortune teller. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's fun. Isn't that fun? That fun. She that's played why men hate therapist. <laughs> yeah, right? Ugh, she even played. She even played an important role in foiling a plan to assassinate Abraham Lincoln by posing as a wow. rich and flirtatious southern lady visiting Baltimore. Oh my god, this it is like vast. Jess. <laughs> I love doing southern accents. Jess, this is exactly what Jess would want to do because she loves doing southern accents. Right. Well, let's hear Well, it. this is how let's she convinced them. She starts her story like this. She's like, he was the hottest son of the year. Southern people. And that's it. That. That's it. That's all she said. And then he was like, here's all the information. And he's like, oh my God. That's oh my a God. That's accent. A southern. You can't be she, a spy. You can't, you be, can't a spy. be a spy if you're mm. southern. <laughs> <laughs> that's illegal. Um, all right. So uh, this is actually four Fast. years. This was four years before the actual assassination of John Wil uh, that John Wilkes Booth yeah. took out. Crazy. Abraham Lincoln. So she saved his life four years before he was actually she assassinated. Can't keep doing it. You gotta take care of yourself, boy. Jesus, boys, you gotta take care of yourselves. We can't mother you. <laughs> she worked on various other high profile cases, including the murder of a bank teller in a case of suspected poisoning. Later, Pinkerton would list Warren as one of the best investigators he ever hired. He even had her buried in his family plot Whoa. here in Graceland Cemetery. Nice. Whoa. So I really want to find her grave. Yeah. I think that'd be we fucking cool. Um, like many cemeteries across the country and all over the world, Graceland has tallied up a number of fascinating ghost stories. You can find the stately tomb of a man named Ludwig Gult or Ludwig Wolf with two Fs. I wonder if his tomb isn't behind us, like what we just. Well, yeah, maybe oh, that yeah. Was on. We should. Well, I didn't see it, but we yeah. should look when, okay. we're, when we're done. Um, Ludwig Wolf is it Ludwig or Ludwig? No idea. Okay, no. great. Ludwig Wolf immigrated to Chicago from Germany with his family in 1854. At the age of 18. He was known for creating L. Wolf Manufacturing Company, a large plumbing supply factory that stopped operating shortly after World War II. Legend has it that Ludwig Wolf had a paralyzing fear of being buried alive. As such, his tomb was carved meticulously from a built-up mound and has stairs leading down to the entrance. I bet you it's right over there. I really want to find it. Yeah, yeah. Um, the tomb is outfitted with a vent at the top, a full ventilation system, and bells and whistles in order to avoid the chance of ever being buried Why alive. You just have someone, like, slit your throat, like, after you're dead, supposedly. He didn't like, know how that worked. Well, because he didn't want to die. He oh, was afraid of being buried okay. alive. Okay, so he's like, even if I'm, like, made, even if I am dead, don't make sure I'm dead by killing me. Dude, yeah. <laughs> well, because people used to get buried alive all oh, the time. I know. Right, like, no, that's the problem. I would rather just have someone kill me, make sure I'm dead, than, like... Like, if you think I'm dead, go ahead alive. and try to kill me. Exactly. Okay. Sure. Like, just finish sure. the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Make sure it's done. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but then I guess people would be, like, murdering people, like, I'm not there with that! <laughs> It's rumored that on full moon nights, some see the phantom figure 
of Wolf's faithful hound pacing in front of the tomb's entrance, oh my God. its eyes glowing a fluorescent That's green. Sad. I want to see the bubby. Mm, or the bubby. dog. Still. <laughs> what you people call dogs, we call bubbies. Many dismiss these legends due to the fact that coyotes live in the area. Oh, coyotes. Okay. Okay. We verified. We just saw his wolf. Oh, we saw his hound, and his hound's a coyote. So either that was a ghost coyote, and it belongs to Warrior, what is his name? Warrior Battle. Famous Warrior Baby. Famous Warrior Baby. Famous Warrior Baby. Or that's just a fucking coyote. All right. Pretty cool, in the way. God. I think it's really cool. I think coyotes are rad. I'm excited that we saw one. Um, The full-body apparition of a somber figure standing on the veranda atop the tomb of the Goodman family has been seen staring out across Lake Willowmere, a man-made retreat surrounded by willow trees and the graves of Chicago's great architects and artists. Oh, I know where that is. That's further uh, east. Okay. I'm sure it's down in the You can see it from the train. I know where the willows are. Yeah, Yeah. we'll have to, we have to go over there. Yeah. Because we'll talk about somebody else that's down there that I really want to see. Um... A footbridge at Lake Willamere has recently been refurbished and leads to the island burials of World's Fair architect Daniel Burnham. Whoa. And and his family. World's Fair. Big deal. World's, World's Fair. Fair. It's the world. That's the biggest thing that ever happened in Chicago. <laughs> yeah. Right? Burnham's Except ghost has been reported <laughs> numerous times. A full-body apparition of a portly man in 19th century dress clothes with a thick mustache and a kind demeanor. Oh, standing, so DTF. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely down to fuck. Standing on the banks of his island with his hands in his pockets. Or walking the fairgrounds in Jackson Park, which I think is right next door to the cemetery. Oh, okay. Even sometimes in his old offices at the Rookery Building on LaSalle Street, where he actually designed the World's Fair. Damn. Few people seem to recognize who this figure was before reading the popular historical novel, The Devil in the White City, uh, by uh, Eric Larson. Uh, people. Laredo Taft, an American sculptor, writer, and educator who lived and died in Illinois from 1860 to 1936, is buried here in Graceland as well. Over his grave looms a large, oxidized bronze figure of a man in a hood. Oh, we have to go to this one, too, by the way. A monument shrouded in local legend known as the Eternal Silence, Mm -hmm. also sometimes known as the Statue of Death. Yeah, they got one at the other cemetery. Legend cemetery needs one. Yeah. This is the first time I've seen it in a cemetery. Oh, really? Yeah, the Bohemian one has something like that. It's The Statue of Death? It's like this woman in a cloak and then her hands out. It's really creepy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Legend has it that if you look into the deep set eyes of the Statue of Death, you will have a glimpse of your own afterlife to come or perhaps a vision of your eventual death. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. It's speculated. Like tomorrow, like, oh, it's like shit. Oh, that's com- eh, fine. My yeah. future life would <laughs> be like shitty open mics forever and I'd be like, oh my God. Longer. <laughs> it's speculated that this statue was the inspiration for William Folds and later Parker Brothers Ouija and Mystifying Oracle <gasps> Games from 1941 really? to 1972. Yeah. We weren't allowed to play that game. Our, fa- really? our father that. talked to the priest and he said it's a connection to the devil. Yeah, our dad's like, you put the woman in the wishing bed! He freaked out. He and freaked it's like out. the devil possessed him, so that was weird. Yeah, but he was always possessing dad. <laughs> William Fold affectionately called his character the Blue Ghost, and its likeliness to the Statue of Death is uncanny. Hmm. Very cool. Um, one little girl is often seen in this cemetery, and many urban legends have arisen about her. She even has a monument here. Her name is Inez Clark, and depending on who you ask, her story differs. Inez was struck down by either tuberculosis or a lightning bolt. Whoa. Her parents... Can it be both? <laughs> I mean, it, How I can mean, you recover sucks. from a lightning bolt? That's you true, you can't. You got TV, you can't do it. Her parents, heartbroken, commissioned a statue of their little girl for the cemetery in which she was buried. Surrounding this monument is a glass box cemented to the base of the monument. Weird. We will find it. What's in the box? Her statue. What? Oh, the, the box? statue is. <laughs> the statue is cemented she's in, the in glass. She's yeah. in the box. And then she's buried underneath it. Yeah, okay. Um, rumors suggest that on some nights, this monument disappears only to reappear the next morning. Some say the glass case was put around the monument to protect it from being stolen as it kept going missing. 
even if it seemed to be returned by the next morning. However, even after the statue was securely encased in glass, some swear that the monument will still disappear from the glass box, only to reappear inexplicably by the following morning. Listeners, there's bats, like, chirping Scary. all around us, like, flying around us right now. All right, so basically, she has a glass box over her statue. Crazy. Sometimes uh, the statue disappears, even though it's been encased by glass. And it was encased by glass because it kept disappearing. Weird. So weird. Yeah. Um, and who can, like, move a statue? Nobody can, like, move a statue. You know what I mean? It just seems weird to move it around. Those who adhere to the theory that Inez was struck down by lightning insist that her statue only disappears during violent storms. Oh, she's scared. Oh, she doesn't want to be out here. Right. Sometimes visitors claim to see a little girl wandering among the graves near this monument only to disappear forever behind another grave. Mm. Chilling stories are told here about visitors bringing their children with their families who then wander off only to be found later near the statue, claiming that they were playing with Inez. Aww. That's nice. I think so. She's playing with me. Some believe that the little girl seen in the graveyard isn't your typical apparition of a ghostly little girl, but the actual statue itself coming to life and exploring the cemetery grounds. That's some Dr. Who shit. shit. (laughs) Though the statue is attributed to Inez Clark, Historian John Binder looked into it and found that the child buried here was actually named Inez Briggs, who died of of, uh, diphtheria at the age of six in August of 1880. As it turns out, at the time of Inez's death, she had been living with her mother, Mary McClure, who was no longer married to her father, Walter Briggs. She had remarried a man named John Clark. Although Inez was actually the daughter of Walter Briggs, it seems the family decided to give her the last name of her stepfather, John Clark, therefore carving the name Inez Clark into her tombstone. So this is, the reason I go into that is because a lot of people see discrepancies in the research. Oh, but it's like Inez Briggs, it's not even Clark. Mm -hmm. And then they think they debunk all of it. Mm -hmm. So you have to dig far enough to go, okay, well, what really happened here? Yeah. Yeah, and finally, our, you know, yeah. our guy looked into it, so that's red. Um, this solves the mystery of the little girl buried here, though people are still filled with wonder about why this little girl is still found roaming around the cemetery. Inez is probably the most popular ghost here at the Grayson Cemetery, but certainly not the only one. Whether you come here to take a stroll with Daniel Burnham, play hide-and-seek with Inez Clark, or to brave a glimpse into the chilling eyes of the Statue of Death, the Graceland Cemetery is not a stop that you'll want to miss when you visit Chicago. The Graceland Cemetery is owned and operated today by the trustees of the Graceland Cemetery Improvement Fund. All revenue given to the fund provides for the maintenance of the grounds and the monuments and tombs therein, preserving a historic and beautiful piece of Chicago's rich history. The cemetery is public and open to all visitors. If its hauntings don't interest you enough, visit Graceland for its breathtaking architecture. After all, it is the cemetery of architectures. Its deep history and awe-inspiring natural beauty. Just remember, while you walk through this historic and beautiful place, you may not be walking alone. There's now one that's... is the fun part, you guys. So you know the story. The this, sun uh, is almost brick is completely loose, down. So... Something's so, getting out of there. Wow. It's thriller. Thriller. Oh. What? So, the I things... I feel like Parent Trap where I should have two sticks and be like... <laughs> yeah, right? The things that I want to find the most personally are Inez's statue oh. covered by the glass. Yep. The statue of death. Statue of death. And if we could find Lud- Ludwig Wolf's tomb, that'd be fucking cool. Yep. One of them had, like, it said that, like, stairs led up to it, right? So we could check to see That's if there's Well, it led it. down. Oh, it's shoot. It's Ludwig Wolf's tomb. Okay. So wait, but that might be right here. So these are all tombs, right? Ooh, wow. Right. So. We have a map. If... No. No map. map. Wow, that'd be a good idea. <laughs> I've only done six cemeteries so far, and I've First never even thought of that. Ever asked this one's not marked. Look, it's an unmarked tomb. And it's like really old. Probably rent that thing out. Probably rent it out, yeah. 
Not a little windy. They, yeah, they really, look kind of new. We don't need it for that long. <laughs> Gives a new so. meaning to garden unit. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. dun. Randall. Randall, please answer. Oh, I thought that. that was it. It was LW. I was like, where is that? Yeah, Ludwig Wolf. It probably would just say like L Wolf. DJ oh, that's L Wick. Shit. DJ right. Powers. That's a great DJ one. DJ Powers. Yo, DJ whoa, whoa, Powers. Whoa, 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 so 1894. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm. <laughs> I like that. That's fun. You should get a picture. Hold your light. DJ Powers. Yeah, DJ Powers. The the DJ Powers. DJ Powers in the grave. Mm, 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 mm. He comes we out be up in here all to dead play and shit. Beats. <laughs> to play dub beat. As he comes out to drop dub beat. To drop the beat. <laughs> He's like, actually, I really hate the affiliation. I really don't like it. I don't like you, man. So I guess we go this way then? You said the willows are this way, right? Yes. I, I said what? I said the willows oh, are. Jess knows that the, the willows way. are They're this east. way. That's right. Okay. I was gonna say, I know I didn't, because I don't know directions for shit. Yeah. Gus got Mama. This. Yeah, it's hard to. <laughs> Mama. Have you seen that horror movie, Mama? No. Do you like horror movies? I watch some. I, I don't watch a ton. But it's not like great, My but it's funny. Is too yeah. Scary. And like one of those where it's like more entertaining for that reason. Though. Yeah, like there's this little girl in it that just, like, the okay, the like two daughters are raised by wolves, literally. You love it? it yeah, and then this one little girl. Out grabs moths out of the sky and just eats them mm. and it's the best wolves don't even do that <laughs> I know, but like you know but yeah it's a good, good takes one. a village that's what i guess <laughs> well i don't know i assume that this thing curves around okay that's what i think too so i say we i say we follow this trail back because i bet you it curves towards where the the river is right and then at least we could see where daniel burnham because shit i wish you guys read that book because like i read it oh, and i'm shit. like i know so I wish, excited i've heard great things about it but i for some reason what's I've never uh had the kid's name the kid that's buried here right? the little girl oh the inez neck? clark well it's technically inez briggs inez. right if you, research, if you do your that? research if you do your research guys yeah right oh, it was our phones i was like there's, a, there's an orb there was oh, two orbs saying, over no, here. No, it's fireflies. No, it wasn't. It wasn't? It wasn't. You actually saw an orb? I think it was the flashlights. That's what I'm going to... But you're unsure? Wait, what? What? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wait, it's those the, over there. The flashlights. See how they're, like, shining? Right? It's a firefly. No, it's the flashlight reflecting wait, wait, on... Wait, wait, watch. It's reflecting on something. Watch. Okay, well, now it's not. No, that's what I'm saying. It's, yeah, I saw yours reflecting up there, and I was like, two orbs, but it was like two lights, and you guys Wait, just... why is it reflecting, though? Because of the, the stones. Because of, yeah, gravestones. That stone? But yeah. No, it's like, it polished, it's like polished granite gravestones. But it's only like when you do it, you know? So like, Yeah, you, yeah we it's only just saw believe. three ghosts, guys. Don't listen to them. Uh, we saw three ghosts. <laughs> they were floating around, and they were deep into Wrapped the woods up. where it's dark, so it doesn't really make sense this that whole a flashlight would not reflect back by that time, so... Ghosts, what are you doing? And just off you ghosts. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the, the ghost said, What up? It's just the light. They say, Get out of here so we can start up. That would be sweet if we did see a ghost. Start. Oh my god, start I did crying. one. Wait, we'd be the worst Wait, people to see ghosts with, too. We'd be like, Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> and we'd instantly try to like work therapy Honestly, on them. aliens are better to see because like they have technology. There's ghosts. no such thing as aliens. We talked about this yesterday. What if you get the like shitty aliens that like, are just like, like the hillbilly aliens? <laughs> we're not aliens. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, We, we don't really know what to do. We thought you guys might know what to do. They're like, no. we polluted our whole planet. Oh, shit, you guys oh, did the same we thing. Do, you guys are doing that here? <laughs> Come on. Don't yeah. do it. We do well, now it. Now what? Shit. Don't you guys know better? We do. We just keep doing it anyways. Oh, jeez. We, we did that too. Our spaceship ran out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have that here too. It's Wait, bad. so have you seen a ghost or anything like that? I have. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I... I I I saw one when I was like really young when I was in third grade. <gasps> What's that? Is that a light? In yeah, this? I saw some of those. I was oh like, no! Sometimes there's lights that are like facing graves. That I've seen that. I know. I oh, saw that nice. too, and I was like, that light is too consistent. It's not orb like. Yeah, no, it's one of those it's a little. Trick, trick it's kind of like in the, your What's front wrong yard, and you have like a, a little trick orb yeah. with lights in it. I think it. they're um, solar powered. Yeah, so that's a well, thing now. Oh, that's fun. So they're not. Tell the alien about that. Um, 
Yeah, I saw a lady standing at the end of my bed. So it was one of those, like, oh, ghosts are real. Yeah. And, like, since then, I've been like, oh, yeah. And then I've had a few other paranormal experiences. A lot of them have been on this show, and a lot of them oh, are weird. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. subtle. I mean, yeah. I'm asking for it. I go to haunted places. Oh, right. Yeah, that's but true. But just, I feel like the idea of, like, when it seems like you want to see something, it's like, no, you're not going to see it. Right. Agreed. Unless it's a bug. Then you would definitely Unless see it. Unless it's a bug, which in just Wait, case you never want to see it. What is that? Look at how big these monuments are, dude. These are huge. These are huge Sh- monuments. Like giant monuments. They're like... Uh, it's supposed to be like a whole family. I feel like a cemetery expert. Like, I've been to so many of them now. Albert Keep. And I've never seen ones these big. This is, like, um, wild. Do you see what this says? What? Harrison S. Gunn, wife of Albert Keep. Albert Keep. Susan A., wife wow, of Albert Wow, what a Keep. shitty Maybe picture my father. Uh, sounds took. like he was keeping... A few too many wives. I've too many wives. This is it sounds like he's keeping. You guys, I need a better phone, dude. Right? It's hard to see. I always take pictures with my phone. I should probably get like the newest and this like one's latest huge. and greatest. So do ghosts glow? So the ghosts you've seen. Like I feel like the ghosts would just appreciate it, you know. No, but like when you saw a ghost, did it oh. did it glow? Oh, did she glow? Yeah. No, she was just like a lady standing there. And I could very faintly see through her. It's not like I could completely see through her. Okay. So there was some transparency or something to it. A little bit, though. It was basically like a person standing there, but you're like, oh, I could like kind of see through, like through her. And then she was staring right in my eyes. Okay. But I didn't feel like negative at all. Like it felt fine. I felt totally comfortable looking at her. Until I put together in my head that I was like, oh, this is not, like... That one's Hoyt. Do we have, do we have a story about Hoyt? No. That one? No. Um, until I like, kind of put together in my head that I was like, oh, this is not normal. This name says Philander Peck. Please make all the dick jokes you guys want for that. Continuing. Palmer. We got to find that that one encased in glass. Is this a willow tree right here? I think so. There's a lot of willow there's trees. There's a lot of willows. There's when you more, get to it, there's, there's like a more uh, launch down this way. I feel why. like this is like maybe a hybrid or something cuz like it doesn't yeah, look right? like it doesn't a real seem exactly willowy. Tree. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a mix. Yeah, it does. Like the like the branches hang off of it like a willow tree. I love willow trees. I think they're Yeah, my they're favorite. gorgeous. Yeah. I love those fireworks that look like willow trees. Yeah, they like that sparkle are like, down. Yeah, that sparkle down yeah. and they're like kind of a brownish gold. Yep. That's my favorite one. Yeah, those ones are pretty. I feel like as a kid I was like talking about how I'm like, I really like colorful. Like as a kid I liked colorful ones and now as an adult I'm like, appreciate the classiness, the gold. Right. Simplicity. Jesus Christ, look how big this grave is. What the right. fuck? Like why why? Why do you need that? Look at how big that is. That's so like gluttonous. You gotta fit all your snacks in there. <laughs> Good. That's what I would do. Oh, you're fill fixing. It with, Caroline, fill it with peanut butter pretzels. Will you light this? So oh yeah, peanut butter pretzels. Double light, Caitlin. Double so, double light it. Double light. <laughs> I'm running low, man. Wow, this is just like I feel like a little tiny ant person. Mm-hmm. But this oh, is. You. My an enormous God. grave. You Look, that's a person. Did. Well, you can't see her. This is an enormous grave at the cemetery of someone named Bartholomew that's just really overcompensating. Like, there's just no... Mm-hmm. Someone jump in front of it. Like, stand... Yes. Yeah. You go. Lay yourself. There you go. Look at... You guys, look how fucking big this thing is. <laughs> it's not even focusing on you. I need a better phone. Yeah, this is just ridiculous, so though. <laughs> Like, so grateful for everyone who got me here to this grave. <laughs> like, so flexing on this grave. <laughs> also, though, I'm really sorry if this is disrespectful at all, but I feel like you have a sense of humor about you, because who would have a grave this large and not have a sense of humor? Yeah, like, them? it's absurd. Yeah, I mean. Also, I will say fresh <laughs> flowers, too, so that might be that means something. Fresh flowers oh. here, look. Classy. Oh, that's just fresh. Oh, this is fake. Let me touch it. I'll touch it. Them's real flowers. Damn real. Them's real. 
All right, my phone's gonna die. Oh, soon, they're real. So we better cruise on. Getting close. Oh shit, my phone's close to dying too. That's not good. Uh, I feel oh. like we'd see a glass case. I don't know. I'm trying to look up a map. Because I think that's going to be our best case of finding anything. Cause, yeah. Right. There's like center stuff that the roads aren't going to like touch without us having to wander a little bit. Yeah. Let's see. Graceland. Cemetery. Is, it, is this place called Graceland? Yeah, Graceland Cemetery. Isn't that where Elvis is born? No, that's, isn't that Graceland <laughs> Cemetery? Somewhere in the south. Caitlin, what? Where was Elvis born? Wasn't he born in this, this cemetery? Yeah, I he think was, he was born, born right what here. What the fuck is that? Right, it's like a big bat. That was the biggest bat I've ever seen. I Did you see that? I think it that? might be a bird. Honestly. No, that wasn't, it was not flying like a bird. It was Hi, flying um, like a bat. What's that? The New Jersey Devil? It's probably the Mothman? Elvis. No. Oh yeah. Mothman. No, that's too small to be the Mothman. Yeah, it's a Mothman baby. Aw, oh, Mothman baby. It's the, it's Mothman. the Jersey Devil. For Jersey sure. Devil. Yeah, that's that. Isn't he in Detroit oh, though? Baby Jersey he's Devil. In Jersey. Oh yeah, he's, 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 a, Jersey he's in Jersey. <laughs> they like the that was a huge stuff. bat. I'm pretty sure that was just a giant bat. You know what? Shoot. I've never seen a big bat, but I know they exist. So. Well, we. I mean, you just did. If though. I was living as a bat, I'd live here. Yeah, but how and I'd close have you been to a bat? <laughs> right. I'd be big too. I would I'd be bet. big too. It's hard to keep the weight off. You know. I, I, God, hey. God knows I know. Mm-hmm. Or right. bats even predators. Yeah. You know? Right. That's true. That's a good point. No, I'm sure things eat bats. For sure. I think some, like, giant spiders eat bats. Isn't Whoa. that fucked up? That's not... Yeah, that's terrifying. Yeah, it's awful. God. And, like, birds. <sighs> well, this is actually just really cool. I mean, I, I definitely see what you mean by, like, the architectural, like, the way that they've set up this whole thing to yeah. be, like, visually stunning with all of the, um, like, the trees and stuff. Like, the way they set it up. It's yeah. very gorgeous. Like, I feel like I didn't really notice how flat and plain other cemeteries were until we've, like, walked through this. And I've been like, oh, my God. Like, they really took time to be like, let's build this okay, up. I found a map. I just don't know where we are to reference it. Oh, really? Okay, does it help if I tell you, like, a grave? <laughs> no, probably not. No, oh, they oh, only really point out but famous there's a people. tomb. Ooh, Do you think you that's our boy? <gasps> that's our boy. So boy, your baby. <laughs> oh, this is a cool ass tomb as well. Look at this. Oh wow, it really and is. And there's stairs. I think this is it. There's stairs. No, it's C M Stevens. Son of a Stevens! Fuck. No! What a dick. Steven, that's a nobody. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Bert. Oh look, a nobody's buried here in this fucking <laughs> tomb. <laughs> We got a tomb oh, of a fucking guys loser. What's the point? Who What's cares? The point? Over it. I thought it was our dude. I love that it's built our into new a hill, warrior. Nice. Oh, Ludwig. Look at Ludwig. This is like a a rabbit hole here. Is there? Yeah. Literally. Could be a badger. Oh, stay away. Well. We got to find the Statue of Death. You know what we should have done? We should have gotten Pastor to take us to these monuments. Yeah, that would have been great. Yeah, <laughs> and we during the day. For. Well, no, right now. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, we're already exploring. I guess we might as well try to, you know, find, find it ourselves. Find it our own selves. Are we getting past her? No, no. I don't no. Think so. oh, okay. But I was saying that's like probably what we should have done. But it's kind of fun to find it yourself. Yeah. Because like this is like this reminds me of my episode with um, Dylan Jenkins in episode in season one, episode yeah. four. We went to the Lone Fir Cemetery, and we did. Oh, I fucking I think that's it. What's that? That's like someone the in a one? cloak. Oh, that could be it. That could sure. be a statue of death. Maybe, maybe I don't know. But yeah, it's just like so validating when you find it yourself. It's oh, like doing yeah, a puzzle, right, right, right. you know? This is a really, uh, despite the bugs, this is a really nice night. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I don't think it's the death statue because he is like backed by a wall. 
Oh, is it? Yeah, it's not it. Yeah, I think you're supposed to be able to look into the eyes of it. Yeah, it like has a, it's like- It says Williams. It has a wall behind it. It's also further south. Okay, so now I know where we're at, which yeah. is good. So now I, can now I have to pee, which is bad. Oh, fall in. Just uh, Randall, go. cut that out, because <laughs> I don't want people knowing that I have to pee. Okay, so we're at the entrance. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can find Kinsey pretty easily. Um. <laughs> He's like the main guy you were looking for. Yeah. <laughs> I want to find that statue of death. Yeah, like, let's see. Really What's it bad. actually called? Do you know? It's called the sta oh, It's called um, Eternal Silence. Is what it's called. Eternal Silence. Or the Dexter Graves okay. Monument. Dexter Graves. There's a Wirt Dexter. I don't know if that's the same thing. Like W I R T. Dexter Graves. Monument, yeah. That's okay, that's right by the Kinsey thing. Oh, sweet. So we are here, basically. So we just go on the farther out, which this might be it. Basically, we should go down this way. Just go straight, like, yeah. from where we are. And then once we get to something that splits, then we'll look at the roads. Okay. So then we'll have an idea. Let's get to something that splits. Oh, you mean, like... Like, a ro the road will come to a, a spot that splits. Yeah, and you go to the And then there, it should be labeled as to what road it is, but then we kind of go to the right, yeah. And if we're at the very furthest right, then we'll go okay. left. This is cool, though. It's really awesome being in a cemetery at night when there's nobody else here. And it's, like, a really nice night. Yeah. And, like, I don't know, so we don't have to worry about, like, oh, we're not actually doing anything wrong. Right, yeah. We're it's not like, trespassing. We're allowed to be here. This is so adult. I know. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. It's only, it took me two well, years to start being like, maybe I should get permission to do shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, right? Like, yeah. didn't make sense. Like, hmm, should I, should Well, I didn't, I think when I first started, I didn't do it because I just assumed people would say no. You right. Know? So I was like, well, I just, I'm just gonna go. Mm -hmm. But once I actually started asking people and realizing like, oh, no one cares. Can't wait to find John Kinsey and be like, John Kinsey, son John of Kinsey. a bitch. You son of a midge. <laughs> son of a midge. Okay, so is this it where it splits off? Okay, yes. It's yeah, it must split. be. Okay. So it's to the right? Hang on. No? Split here. Now that means we're on a different road, so then we'll, we'll go. Hang on. We'd actually, yes, go to the right then to see Kinsey's Sharp thing. right? Yeah. Yeah. Some more towards the entrance almost. It's gonna be like in the middle here to the right, supposedly. Okay. Oh, to the right. Oh no, it's right there. Here it is. Oh, there's the oh, death. Oh fuck, this is got so cool. Our friend Deathly. Oh, we got death here. He's Deathly represented. Graves. Here, I'll put that light on. It doesn't have Thank any you. eyes. Well, you have to get closer, man. Yeah, that's true. It is a creepy fucking statue. I think its eyes are closed too, or the eyes are all black. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's like all maybe out. once you actually see them, though, that's when you'll maybe, know because you your life see. and death will flash before yeah, your exactly. eyes. Yeah, exactly. Once you see them, it's too and I'll late. be like, meh. I don't know why. Like my thing is like too much. I don't want to have my flash on. What a cool statue, though. Yeah, it's beautiful. I like the copper. Or whatever. Is yeah. that what that is? It's like I rusted assume. copper. Because it goes blue. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I don't think it would turn blue like that. It might just be coded in it, but still. Wow. I like that he's got these little toes I like out. That and he's he not shows ashamed us what to show what death is going to look like. Because that's fun. Look at people left like pennies and stuff. Yeah, people left pennies. There's people that. Um, some people wrote You're trying some to light stuff. on him, Kia. Thank you. Hang on, let me get one further away. Maybe more one in the front. A front shine, so we can see his eyes that don't exist. Okay. Oh, 
Whoops. Honestly, he just looks like me in a blanket. <laughs> he's like, I don't want to hang out with I'm people. I'm cold. They don't like it. He's like, um, <laughs> Chicago's cold, okay? Yeah, that's what he's doing. You guys just know cold. it was like negative. He's just living through a Chicago you? winter. That's it. That's oh, all Jesus. he's doing. How could you? Actually, that's how that guy died. <laughs> yeah, that's how he died, yeah. He froze still mm -hmm. and the body kind of like yeah. puffs up and that's I'm going to do one more picture. Let's like from the side view. Oh, yeah. I'm just like enamored with this thing. It's oh, so yeah, cool. cool. But you got those toesies I out. Know. That's why it's so cold. You gotta put some socks on, bro. Cool. Now, I'm wondering, is Kinsey's grave gonna be big or not big? So you said he was close to Kinsey? Yeah, he's like right across the street. Okay, so Kinsey's like right and here. He's here, so he's dying. Who was Kinsey again? That's the backstabber guy. That oh, was yeah, like the founder. founder. So he's going to have probably he's a really huge a monument. He's just like an explorer guy, well, you know, like just kind of rambled on through. Do you think he's this giant monument? He's going to have a big I, one. That's what I would think. I would think it's a big deal. Yeah. He looks like he's closer this way. Look at these are babies. You check that one out. It's I'm going to check over here. He's right here. Is he? Oh, you I found it? Say, he probably has an old one. John Kinsey. John Kinsey. Mitch was our old producer. Now we're he all. He has a thing loyal. that says, in honor of service in the War of 1812. I knew John it was 1812. Kinsey. You got it, Jess. You nailed it. Shine I a nailed light. it. It's a pretty small grave, though. Yeah, it's for actually super really small. didn't do a lot for the city. Just kidding. What you would think. <laughs> didn't do a whole lot. Hey, bud, I made you a hotel. I hope you're. My happy sister yet. made you a hotel. I just did the pretty idea. And now there's like probably prostitutes that work there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Chinchy. <laughs> Chinchy. <Chinchy. laughs> June 6th. Yeah, and he's got an 1812 war plaque, too. He's so born in 1763. They need to re, uh, do this. It's like yeah. A, well, yeah, dude. It's from 1828. Update. Yeah, that's nuts. Isn't Think it? about that. That's like that's how old this is. 200 years ago. 1800 seemed like they were just yesterday. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's cool, though. 1800 is really yesterday. Yeah, that's nuts. That is awesome. It's that's, cool uh, to, like, touch It's great crazy. Look. I didn't know he was when embarrassed here. I figured he left town. Yeah, yeah you right? Can, you can see the engraving when you move the light. Move the light a little back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, back. back oh, yeah, when you it. stand for Right the, there. Right yeah. there. Now it's you almost can like the see less it. light you can see it. Yeah, here, don't move. I'm going to take a picture of that. Oh, wow, you can see his name. That's crazy. Yeah, that's nuts. John Kinsey. John Kinsey. This son of a bitch. <laughs> this old geezer. <laughs> she got it. Okay, is that? Which, what, what's the next one? Inez. Let's see. In the in the glass case. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Because now we have some bearings of where we are. Which sure. Is good, because then we can go find the other. I can't believe we death. That's I pretty know. cool. I know. That's, yeah, we found I really, death. There's Since William LeBron. Jenning here? Is that one one we talked about? Yeah, we talked about him. Okay, we don't care about him. Who is he, though? Con Let's. I say, Rad I vote Solzer? we find Inez and then... Okay. So yeah. I super have to be. Okay, Randall, take that out. I'm looking for... I know I saw her. We definitely need to find her, though. She is a big one. Inez. Okay, so we are here. She's here. Okay. So Is that closer to the entrance? We can probably, like, start heading our way back and then... We'll go around here and then boop, Yeah, boop. let's do that. Let's go Perfect. back towards the entrance here and then we'll hang a, a right. A right? Oh, a Roger. Yeah, right. Um, once we get to that like thing that okay. goes towards the exit and that way it'll be a straight shot. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that thing looks pretty cool. The that box. thing does look cool. That Oh, no, the box thing? Yeah, I was talking about the Statue of Death. Oh, the Statue like, of Death's pretty neat. When I first wrote the notes for this, I was like, I can't wait to see that guy. Oh, I want to touch him one more time. It was so good to meet you, dude. Take care. Stay warm out Stay there. Stay warm in that winter. Right now it seems Cover warm. up those toesies. Let go and let He's go. He's going to lose those toes. That's when you put wool socks. <laughs> little wool socks on them. <laughs> That's so mad, bad. everybody. Let's see. We are going to... So it's take a right up here, do you think? Left. Oh. And then oh. we'll, we'll kind of go back towards the entrance thing. Oh, and then I'm we'll, totally turned around. I thought yeah. the entrance was towards the right. No. 
It's really cool to be here and see all the fireflies, too. Yeah. Like, kind of sparkling around the grass. Yeah, it's really cute. Yeah. Yeah. It's super cute. Especially because it's like, you know, it's a lot of light pollution. Look so at these like tiny nice little grapes. Right. There's a little baby little grapes. Those are babies. I bet you. Oh, you think so? Like, the Oh, tiny yeah, they are. usually are. Like, if you look, at, if you come over and look at the dates. Some of them are so old, they're you can't so read old. The yeah, cover. these are so old, you can't see them. Look at this one's been broken. Yeah. Those are babies. This one though. just says, I think, on top the name. I don't know. This, Is it this just one, like daughter, like daughter, something. son? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. It's been faded away for so long. Yeah. So this but is, no, I wanted to show first. you the other one that's like in the Bohemian one. Oh, yeah, Super dude. It's creepy. so similar. Yeah, it's but it so is. It's similar. really similar. This one I think has a face, but, um, or like it's not painted or something, but like, yeah. still, it's like creepy. <laughs> What's weird about the one we just looked at is it seemed like there was like netting over the eyes, didn't it? Huh. It wasn't oh, was painted it? black. It was uh, like they put something over it. Sorry. They made oh, it I wonder if it, it could have been to uh, restore something, but who knows? Or, I mean, people kept trying to come look at the oh eyes. Oh, my God. And they just yeah, they're them like, we can't let them keep seeing this. Yeah, this we is can't upsetting. Let them see their future death. This is upsetting people, and it's the butterfly effect. If they try to change exactly. it, we just can't exactly. let it happen. Mm -hmm. Does, did it not look like that to you? I don't know. It looked like the eyes were like covered by a it fabric. It definitely looked like, it didn't look like quite paint. Yeah, it wasn't so painted. Cause then when we were looking at it, it with our texture. flashlights, it, yeah, it had a texture, exactly. Like it would have shown like, oh, if you move the light a little bit, you can see the corners right. of like the eyes. And it wasn't like that. Wow, tons of huge monuments here. Really, really cool. I think we'll turn right here. Okay. Cause yeah, okay, so that's the entrance right there. That's the one that we came in. I yeah. see, okay, cool. And then we'll... This is a really gorgeous cemetery though, yeah, honestly. Yeah, it really is. You definitely see where they like, designed it well. This is, I think this is the most beautiful cemetery I've ever been in. Really? Yeah, yeah there's, so like, beautiful. I would compare it to Lone Fir in Portland, but the huge monuments and, like, with all these figures, look at, there's a figure on that one, there's a figure on mm -hmm. that one. They're, like... That's a cool to uh, know. Like, I didn't know that it was, like, I haven't been to, like, too many. I've just been to a few. Yeah. Um, like, it is pretty neat, but, like... It, this is a beautiful, beautiful place. It's like you don't know what you got. Yeah, exactly. Because, I mean, there is something to be said for, like, old, creepy cemeteries where all the graves are, like, right, dusty and, like, yeah. crooked. But a place like this is just breathtaking. It's yeah. amazing. So we'll veer to the right here. Okay. Right? It's actually a lot closer than I thought. It looks, looked, on the map, it looks like it's, like, super far. Right, somewhere. I know. Right. I was surprised when oh, we were like, at Oh, we're entrance. already at that weird fork. Okay. Yeah. And the trees in here are beautiful. Yeah, they look so, they look so old. And they should huge. do like a movies in the park thing here because it's a yeah, really right? gorgeous, gorgeous cemetery. Oh wait. Yeah, if you are into ghost hunting, and if you listen to the show, you probably fucking are. Then, if you are in Chicago, you have to come here. This is a beautiful. Yeah, it's so this gorgeous. This is gorgeous Stanger. too. I was looking at that too. That's got the Celtic cross behind her. Yeah, and it's like blue, and everything else is gray. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is that like oxidized copper. Yeah. What a it's beautiful so tombstone. I hope you had so much fun exploring Graceland Cemetery in Chicago with the Chekarovsky sisters and I. You can find Jessica exhibiting comics and prints at Grand Rapids Zine Fest on August 31st and Twin Cities Zine Fest on September 21st. Caitlin will be performing in Detroit for the Motor City Comedy Festival from September 19th through the 22nd. If you're not in the area, you can still find the Chekarovsky sisters on social media. Find Jessica Chekarovsky on Instagram with the handle at Chekarovsk. That's at C-H-E-K-E-R-O-S-K. 
Look for Caitlin on Instagram and Twitter with the handle at Caitlin Check. That's at C-A-I-T-L-I-N-C-H-E-C-K. Or find her on her website at CaitlinCheckaroski.com. While you're at it, check us out on social media too. You can find us with the handle at Lit Dark Podcast. That's at L-I-T-D-A-R-K Podcast. Or visit our website at LitDarkPodcast.com to see what's new, check out our merch items, or just say hello using our Contact Us form. Special thanks for this episode goes to Jensen and Pastor of Graceland Cemetery, my producer Randall Lawrence and Cranival Studios, Jonathan Cooper, my graphic designer, Sarah Schneider, my manager, and of course, all of you for listening. I'll see you next week right here on Laughing in the Dark. Sources used for episode 18 of Laughing in the Dark include ChicagoHauntings.com, Wikipedia, the Encyclopedia of Chicago, the Chicago Public Library, Atlas Obscura, Block Club Chicago, GracelandCemetery.org, Historical Bells and Bows blog, the History Channel website, and AllThat'sInteresting.com. Laughing in the Dark is brought to you in part by Heck Yeah Studio. Heck Yeah Studio is a creative effort working with people to create meaningful things. At Heck Yeah Studio, they work with clients to turn their ideas or existing brands into real or better versions. Heck Yeah Studio is the place to go for custom illustration for a full range of branding services like killer logos, great colors and typography, and fun illustrations for pins, signs, prints, shirts, vehicles, posters, or anything you can imagine. At Heck Yeah Studio, they work with love. Their dream client is someone who is passionate about what they do. At Laughing in the Dark, Heck Yeah Studio has designed our logo, all of our merch, and any posters or stickers that we have. I am so proud and lucky to work with such an awesome company and I could not recommend them higher.